Welcome to another Gas Grass or Ass 007 Gaming Shogun 2 Total War commentary video. It's a lot to say in one sentence. My opponent today is going to be True Shot T Gills. <coughs> Apparently, he wasn't that true of a shot because I'm pretty sure I won this battle. Okay. Why is my frame rate so low? Okay, there we go. Alright, I got one unit bow samurai, one unit bow ashigaru, one unit of wood samurai, one unit of yari samurai, one unit of warrior nuns, one unit of nadachi samurai, one unit of katana samurai. I have one unit of bow cavalry, my bodyguard. <coughs> and I have yari cavalry and light cavalry and katana. Yep, and Katana. His army consists of... Everything's white. Yari Ashigaru. Yari Ashigaru. Yari Ash Three units are Yari Ashigaru. Four units of Bow Samurai. Avatar's Bodyguard. Four units of Katana Samurai. And three more units of Yari Ashigaru. I got both somewhere. <clears throat> now, for this map, if you guys ever play this map, the number one thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is to get to the top of this hill. Immediately. As fast as you can, get to the top of this hill. This is where everybody's going to go. And you're going to want to... This is pretty much <clears throat> what I named the replay. Battle for the Hill. Or King of the Hill, or whatever. It's pretty much what this map is. King of the Hill. As you see, you're going to see this a lot from me. I use the trees as cover. I try to take every strategic advantage I can possibly get when I'm in a match. I hope this doesn't lag, because I like doing this stuff. And I don't like redoing these videos over and over again. <coughs> Because I always seem to have the best commentary when it's my first time through, you know. I'm going to use my bow cavalry here again. Um, I actually, for a little bit, gave my katana bodyguard here a bow. Just because people were, like, harassing my general. I ended up going back after I leveled up a little bit more and putting all my points back into melee. Now he's just going to charge me. I'm pretty sure it's what he's going to do here. <clears throat> I am going to take advantage of the fact that he didn't even bother to go after my cavalry. Which was a really big mistake on his part. He just decided that he would make a little wall here. Because, you know, cavalry can't run fast or anything. They can't outmaneuver units. I don't think the guy was playing this game very long. Don't ever do that. Don't assume that you can just guard off horses. If, uh, if you ever see horses like by themselves up there, send your cavalry or send something. Especially when they're dismounted. Because it's going to take them a while to get dismounted. And if they're trying to capture a strategic point, <coughs> they're probably going to stay there as long as they possibly can before they move. I move my general when the guy says your general's in danger just because I get tired of him saying that. It's really annoying. He says it like every two seconds. Did it again here. I lose formation. Yeah, that was pretty much like, uh, that's a lot of arrows. I think I'm just gonna move. <laughs> I didn't think he would just straight go after everybody. Everybody would go after this bow cavalry. And here's a quick battle. He just charges me, like I said. Come on, stop lagging. Nice. <clears throat> and again, you saw me use the stretched out formation there. <laughs> Everybody was pretty much in a line. Sorry for my allergies. 
That's why I'm coughing and clearing my throat a lot. And since his are all pretty much non-leveled units, and mine are leveled, I, I do pretty good damage. Didn't last very long at all. That little skirmish right there. I think I pretty much sent everybody. Yeah. Sent everybody up there. I did not see this. He had cavalry hidden. But it didn't really help him much because I saw it at the last minute and I sent my <coughs> I sent my uh, spear units back right as I saw it happen. Actually, I sent everybody back. I think I even need to get my general into the fray here, too. But yeah, his cavalry did not last long at all. <coughs> now, to be honest, as you saw right there, I was showing you guys the whole map pretty much. I have no clue where those horses were. I have no clue how the hell he got behind me. Like, that really surprised me. There's not very many people that have ever been able to do a surprise attack with me. Here's where I'm going to utilize my horses and, you know, like I said, oh, I'll make a wall. That'll stop them. Yeah, it didn't stop my horses at all. And then he sends his katana samurai after me. And I'm like, uh, okay. Let me just take them off your hands then. I think I do turn around here and like charge his katana samurai. Don't know why he sent his katana samurai. I guess he figured since my katana samurai decimated his horses. Ooh, we're still fighting over here. I think this is general, actually. Is it? No, they're just light cavalry, really? They lasted that long. But yeah. This guy wasn't really smart at all. I'm gonna make a wall on the side and then you won't be able to get past it. Oh crap, you ran behind me. And the whole time he has these guys up here, I'm like shooting him with arrows. You notice they keep repositioning because they keep getting killed. I forget what I- oh yeah, I come I eventually get tired of it, I believe, and I charge him. Yeah, he moves his bow units up, and I eventually just charge him. Because I'm starting to see all the dumb stuff he's doing here, and I'm just like, okay, this should be pretty easy, and I just charge him. And I think in the midst of that charge, I end up bringing those guys down this way, and coming in right behind him with a full three units of cavalry. Which... I'm glad I picked this replay, because you'll get to see how much damage Calvary from behind does to whatever unit is in its way. Doesn't matter if there's spear units or not. If you're not facing me, guess what? You're going down. These guys rerouted, came back, and decided they wanted some more. So you know what I did? I gave them some more. Then he decided to make a wall, like the, the formation... I, I don't know how he thought that was going to help him. I really don't. Because I just came at him from the side right here. Which completely negated his wall. And then he ran away. Which, don't do that. If you're going to commit, you commit. Don't turn around and run away. That's how you lose people. And that's how you lose units. If you're going to commit, you commit. These guys are fine. Like... I wasn't chasing these guys, so he did a pretty smart move there. But I was already attacking that unit right there, and he was just running away. And now I separated them. That's why you don't do that. Now his army separated, which really was his downfall. And the fact that he sent his bow units pretty much to attack me. If I was him, I would have put him back in the woods, attacked with these units. And right here comes my cavalry. Yeah, he made that wall again, so I attacked him from the side with my Yari Samurai, and then I decimate him from the front with... Like this. Yep. And then everybody starts running. 
Yeah. <coughs> Two number one rules in any battle when you're playing this game. If you do a charge and you're already, you pretty much are there at the opponent's army, don't turn around and run away. At that point, you're committed. So you just keep the charge. Go. Do what you need to do. Use that unit if you need to, to sacrifice it and reposition your army. Do what you need to do. But never take that unit and run away. Especially if you're already in battle. Because, guess what? They're two foot units. We can run the same speed. My guys are going to keep up with the people that are running away. And they're just going to slowly stab them in the back. It's not very smart. He did a smart thing here where he repositioned his army. But he did it too late. Uh, it's the first thing he should have done. Instead of retreating those guys that ran away, that, well, not ran away, but he had run away, <coughs> he should have committed them to the fight, blocking all of my forces, and then repositioned his army. Number two, if you have spear units and you're trying to go up against cavalry, don't let your spear units be flanked. You saw what happened right there. My Yari Samurai came in, flanked them. The computer, the AI for those units, we're in trouble. We got to go fight that side. So they completely disregard what's in front of them. And then he wasn't expecting me to charge my cavalry in right there because he thought, oh, well, I'm still facing the cavalry. Well, your guard's down because you're being flanked. So, three units of cavalry that are full strength, full morale, full everything. Guess what? That one unit of spear units, spear unit, Yari Samurai, whatever it is, it could be Yari Hero, I don't care. Guess what? They're going to die really fast. Two things, two big no-nos in this game you do not do. So, keep that in mind when you're playing these matches. Always secure your flanks of your spear units. And always commit when you're already pretty much at the battle that you charged into. <coughs> Otherwise, you're going to take unnecessary losses and the battle's going to be over just like it was for him before it even starts. <coughs> Honestly, he yeah, had. Four units of both samurai, and I had three bow units, one of which was the weakest bow unit in the game. He probably should have just had a bow battle with me for a while, which probably would have forced me to charge him, and he would have had control of the battle. But the fact that he charged me right away gave me control of the entire battle. <coughs> and he didn't even... he basically ignored my cavalry. I mean, yeah, I get, I get that he was working on the ambush that he did to me that really surprised me, but he just left that side way open because he was focusing too much on the ambush. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta balance on what you're doing. You can't just focus on one thing. I did that a lot when I first played this game, and I lost a lot of battles that way. You can't just focus on one thing. You, when you get into these matches, one, you gotta learn how to look at everything and instantly know what you want to do so if you're new to this you're gonna lose just face that fact you're gonna lose right away people like me and Prince and Air and some other guys that are really high level in this game I'm not really that high level because I'm working on two different avatars but we know this game like the back of our hands so you're gonna lose when you first get this game when you first get in here you're gonna lose you're gonna lose a lot Use that time to learn how to do that. Use that time to learn how to look at the field when you're getting into the battle deployment area. Look at the entire field and know exactly what you want to do. Use that time that you're going to lose to do that. When you do that, as time goes on and you get better and better at being able to look at that field and know exactly what you want to do, right off the bat, you're going to get start winning. And at first, you're only going to win here or there, here or there, because obviously you got to add your own, your own, 
Uh, what am I looking for? Your own customized tactics. So everybody is going to have their own tactics they like to use, but everything's going to basically be, you know, the same, basically the same foundation, but each of us that play the game at our own customized tactics to that foundation. <coughs> That's what makes my opinion Shogun really really awesome as a game because everybody you face is going to have different types of tactics and it's just it's that awesome. But use like I said, use that time to learn how to look at the battlefield like like a chess board basically. I used to play chess, that's why this came easy to me. I was on a chess club, you know, I didn't have many friends, so, you know, sue me, right? Use the time, especially battle deployment when you're looking first thing you do when you get no match, look to see what strategic point is closest and then if there's two, decide what one you want. I'm a bow specialized clan, so if I see a bow strategic point on the map right next to me, that's where I'm going to go. Probably shouldn't be telling you this because now if you face me, you're going to know exactly what I'm going to do. But I'm trying to help you new guys out because, and some of you guys that have had the game for a while but stopped playing because, you know, of the match lock units or they just get murdered. I'm trying to help these people out. <coughs> And like I said in a video before, know your army. Know what you want to specialize in. Know what you want the, your strengths to be. Know what units you're willing to sacrifice. Know what strategic points you want to capture. Know what strategic points are going to be the easiest to get to. And then once the first thing you do is that, the strategic points. When you get into a battle deployment stage. And then you deploy your... I use groups... Prince doesn't use groups. I think Air does use groups. It's all, you know, you're in what you like to do. Sorry for how long this video is, and good game to True Shot. Hopefully, he'll watch this and learn a couple things. Um, where was I now? Damn it. Lost track. Oh, yeah. Second thing you do once you get your formations, your groups, and however you want your army set up, and where you want it set up for the strategic point look at the map and you're not gonna have much time to do this so this is all gonna have to happen in a matter of like five like two to five minutes look at the map look where the woods are look where the hills are look where the the rivers are look where the cliffs are look where you know it's foggy or you know any of those things any of those number of different strategic elements of the game and as soon as you look at that know what units you want to send to capture the strategic point. I always send my my uh, my melee katana units, like sword units, because I'm a bow I'm a bow clan and my weakness as a bow clan is cavalry, so I always keep my spear units with my bows, with my archers, or my matchlock units, whichever I'm using. <coughs> know what units you want to send to capture that point. Know what hill you want to post up on or woods you want to hide in and things like that. Know all of that within the two to five minutes you get into the match. And use the time you're going to be losing to practice that. When you get good at all of that and when you start to understand how to do all that at once, you're going to get better. And obviously if you're watching my videos, use some of the tips and things I give you. Like don't retreat when you commit to a battle like he did. Don't let yourself get flanked, especially your spear units and things like that. <clears throat> I'm here to help you guys try to get better at the game because I didn't have somebody to help me get better. I had to learn the hard way. I had to have some of these guys that I'm sure Prince and Air will agree with me and all the other guys that play do the commentaries and play this game. Some of these guys on here are complete and utter holes. I'm not going to say the first whatever. Assholes. They're douchebags and assholes. Some of them are. And they're not going to go easy on you. Just know that going into this game, because this has a cult following. But there is people like me, Prince, Air, and the other guys that do commentary. I don't know too many of them, because I've just gotten into Air. I've been watching Prince, and all these guys upload videos, like, all the time. So I don't really have... And I have a full-time job, so I don't have time to get into everybody's videos. So I just pick the ones I like the most. Um, use our videos to kind of help you, and that's what we're here for. There's people like us out there, and that's why we're here, and that's why we're so successful at making videos and things like that, because people want to see these videos and learn how to play this game, and 
want help and that's what we try to do is help you guys so here's the de deployment statistics obviously so you guys have been looking at for a while or you've been listening to me my Odachi Samurai came away with 208 kills, which is the highest of the day, and 1,092 experience. His highest kill of the day was 53 from his light cavalry. But this is Gasgrass or Ass 007. I hope you guys took everything I said to heart. I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next Shogun 2 commentary Total War video. Until next time, peace.